good afternoon everyone so today is the topic of my presentation is video cassette recorder so first of all we will see what is video cassette recorder so a video cassette recorder is a device used for recording and playing back video and audio signals on a magnetic tape the vcr records video and audio signals onto a magnetic tape cassette using a spinning head assembly that reads and writes the signal onto the tape the tape is divided into tracks which are read and written sequentially as the tape moves past the head assembly overall the vcr was a revolutionary device that allowed people to record and watch tv shows movies and other video content in their own homes so what we will learn in today's presentation so we all know that all the electronic device no matter what is the size or what is the functionality of that device or where we can use the device but all these devices have some microprocessors and computer organization through which it can work properly so in vcr also there are many concepts regarding microprocessor and computer organization now we will see what are the concepts of microprocessor and computer organization which are used in vcr so at a high level a vcr works on a recording video and audio signals onto magnetic tape and playing back those signals when the tape is rewound and played to achieve this the vcr uses a microprocessor to control various functions such as recording playback fast forward and rewind the microprocessor acts as the brain of vcr receiving input from the user through buttons or remote control and sending commands to the various component of the vcr to carry out the desired action for example when a user presses a play button the microprocessor sends a signal to the tape transport system to begin playing the tape and also sends a signal to the video and audio processing circuits to decode the signals on the tape and display them on the tape the computer organization of a vcr includes the arrangement of components and circuits that make up the system this includes the tape transport system the video and audio processing circuits the microprocessor and other components such as power supply and user interface so now we will see the various types of microprocessor and computer organization that are used in a video cassette record so first of all we will see the microprocessor there have been several different microprocessor used in vcr over the years depending on the specific model and manufacturer so the first one is motorola 6800 series this was a popular microprocessor series used in vcr in late 1970s and early 1980s it was a 8 bit microprocessor that provide enough processing power to control the various function of vcr second one is zilog z8 this was another popular 8 bit microprocessor used in vcrs in 1980s it was known for its low power consumption and versatility the another one is intel 8086 series these microprocessors were used in higher end vcrs in 1990s and early 2000s they were 16 and 32 bit processor that offered greater processing power and performance and the last one is mips r3000 this microprocessor was used in some high end vcr in the mid 1990s it was also a 32 bit processor that offered fast processing speeds and high performance so this is the basic knowledge or say least knowledge of all the microprocessor that are used to work the video cassette perfectly now we will jump on to the computer organization which are used in vcr so the computer organization of vcr refers to the way the hardware component and circuit are arranged to enable vcr to perform its function so various computer organizations are tape transport system video processing circuitry audio processing circuitry memory user interface and many more things so we will learn it in a deep way so the first is tape transport system this includes the motor that drives the tape reels the read write heads 
that record and playback the video and audio signals and the mechanism that moves the head across the tape. The second one is video processing circuitry. This circuitry takes the video signal from the tape and processes it into a format that can be displayed on the TV. This includes single signal processing such as demodulation and demultiplexing. Another one is audio processing circuitry. This circuitry takes the audio signal from the tape and processes it into a format that can be played back on a TV or audio system. This includes signal processing such as filtering and amplification. Fourth one is memory. The VCR has a small amount of memory that is used to store settings such as current playback position and the VCR's clock. And the last one is user interface. The user interface includes the button and display on the VCR itself as well as any remote control that may be used to control the VCR. So at last, I have to conclude that a VCR is a device that records and plays back video signals from a cassette tape. The microprocessor and computer organization used in VCR is responsible for controlling the various mechanical and electronic, electronic components of the device such as the cassette loading mechanism, the tape heads and the video signal processing circuitry. The microprocessor in a VCR is typically a low power single chip CPU that is designed to handle simple input output operation and perform basic arithmetic operations. It is responsible for controlling the various subsystems of the VCR such as the motor control, cassette loading mechanism and video signal processing circuitry. The computer organization of a VCR typically includes a ROM which is read-only memory that contains the firmware or operation system of the device, a RAM, random access memory that stores temporary data and program instruction and various input-output interfaces such as serial and parallel ports. The ROM contains the instruction that the microprocessor uses to control the various subsystem of the VCR such as the cassette loading mechanism and the video signal processing circuitry. The RAM is used for storing temporary data and program instructions that are needed for proper operation of the device. The input-output interfaces of a VCR are used for connecting the device to other devices such as a television or a video camera. These interfaces typically include composite video and audio input and outputs as well as coaxial and RF connectors. Overall, the microprocessor and computer organization of a VCR works together to provide the user with a reliable and easy to use device for recording and playing back video signal from the cassette. So, so this is all from my side. Thank you for giving your precious time.